Hi, this is Brian Barnes with Groin and Torah. Thanks for uh, being with me today. I'm out uh, tending to my vines this morning, and I thought I'd take the opportunity to share just a few thoughts that I have as I'm doing this. Um, you know, one of the things that I'm uh, very interested in ha is how Yahweh uses creation itself to teach us his own character. I find it interesting that, um, you know, when God created things, when he made fish, he put them in the sea because that's where they belong. That's where they fulfilled their purpose, what they were created to do. When he made the birds, he put them in the air. And uh, when he made man, where did he put them? He, he put them in a garden. And I find that very interesting. There's another place in Mark chapter um, 8, I think it's verse 22, where he healed the blind man, but only partially. And it, it says that he asked the guy, well, what do you see? He says, well, I see men, but they're, they're look, they look like walking trees. And then it says that he healed them the rest of the way. I'm paraphrasing. And he said he was able, able to see everything distinctly. I find that pretty curious. Once he saw men as trees, he could see things distinctly. That's cool to me. Uh, and then, of course, you know, Romans chapter 1, I think it's verse 20. It says, even the very nature of Elohim is seen by what he has made. And so, you know, when I'm out here pruning the vines and stuff, and things like that I look I like to look for things and I like to look at well how does that mean we should treat one another what am I doing here and uh, how does that relate to one another and um, so you know it's kind of funny because it's the Shemitah year right now and and yet I'm out pruning this vine I don't know if you can see right behind me there uh, behind that tree and behind those roses there's some there's some older vines. Now, I'm not pruning those this Shemitah because Scripture says you should not prune for the harvest. And so we're, we, are, we don't prune. We're, we're allowing the Father to bring that harvest. But this, this vine, this is a baby. Uh, this is one year old. It needs, a lot of, it needs a lot of help yet. It's not ready to bear uh, the fruit of the Shemitah that the, the Father is going to bring on the plants over there that have been nurtured and mature and so you might disagree with me on that but that's kind of how I look at it I, I look at this this vine and say what can I do as a farmer to serve it like if I was in the garden that the father put me in to tend and to keep it what can I do for this plant and therefore if I'm to look at men as trees what can I do for another person to serve them and kind of getting the idea that we're really just servants it's not about getting everybody to see your point of view it's not about getting everybody to do things just the way you do them it's about what does that plant what does that tree need what can I do to serve the tree and so sometimes that takes on a little bit of a different look uh, as opposed to just the the letter of the law sometimes we have to insert our love in there and so here I am out gonna prune this vine in the Shemitah let me show you why if I can here um, you can see all these vines coming up from the bottom they're huge and I mean look at this one I mean it's here I'll even cut this one off just so you can see it Look at this. This is, a, this is a beautiful vine right here. But and it's even got some fruit on it here. But this fruit is not going to survive because it's coming from the base of the tree. But worse than that, even though it's even though it's fruit, it's taking away from what this vine was really intended to do. And this vine was intended to grow up, become a large trunk able to support the hundreds of pounds that the Father has designed it to do. And by growing and allowing these shoots to grow out from the bottom, I am really, I am not being a good farmer to it. I'm not, I'm not promoting what it was designed to do. I'm not 
causing all the health and nutrition go to this main stock here. So, I don't know, I think we should ask ourselves, how do we treat one another? What are we doing? How are we showing love to one another? Are we really focused on getting everybody to see, I don't know, take your pick, the new moon just the way we see it, or the name, or is that where we're really at? You know, I find very often people that are kind of newer to the Torah uh, end up getting sidetracked in a lot of these issues instead of really focusing on the divine nature of Elohim himself. What, who was he? What was he? And he was about love. Yes, he's about following right ways and he has a plan. But just like Acts chapter 15 says, we can, you know, we can get some foundational stuff, which we have in the Torah. It's foundational. It is what we need. But at the same time, go to synagogue every Shabbat and listen of the Torah. And allow the Holy Spirit to work in us. The Holy Spirit's the perfect teacher. And He will bring the things we need when we need it. We don't always need to throw our fruit at one another and get them to see things the way we see them right now. Because just like this plant, they just might not be ready. So work on yourself. Ask yourself, how do other people see me? When they think of Brian Barnes, do they think of a person who loves somebody, who's a, a great lover of, of other people? Or do they think of a guy who is just really smart? Hey, it's great to be smart, but I would rather be known as a person who really shows love. Anyway, that's what was on my mind today. You can contact me at brian at growingintour.com or just go to our website and look around a little bit. See how maybe you could even help what we're doing here and help the farm and help, help students to come learn and learn these things right from creation itself. Thanks a lot and y'all have a great, great day. Shalom. Thank you.